A robbery investigation is underway in Anne Arundel County tonight, where detectives say a man targeted a victim near the Glen Burnie Town Center Saturday, posing as an undercover police officer, before snatching the victim's wallet and getting away. WJZ is live, new at 11. Christina Mendez is at the County Police Department for us and shows us what you can do to verify whether an officer you encounter is the real deal. Christina. Hey Vic, so I talked to a spokesperson earlier tonight and that person tells me that all police officers, the real deal, like you said, will carry credentials. So we're talking a police ID and a police badge. So if you simply ask to see those credentials, I'm told that no real officer would deny that request. A man sitting inside a car on Crane Highway North near the Glen Burnie Town Center became the target of a person posing as an undercover police officer. You just have to be careful and just never assume that the person stopping you is a police officer. Anne Arundel County Police Department says this impersonator ploy was part of a robbery scheme early Saturday morning. The suspect is accused of asking the victim for his license. While following the demand, the victim grabbed his wallet. Police say the suspect took that opportunity to snatch it and take off. Nearby business owner Alberto Reyes says he saw the aftermath of the investigation and was shocked to learn what happened near his restaurant. I just saw the real police talking to a guy that was outside the business. I don't see nothing like crazy or rob. I've been open here to 10 p.m. at night and up and early in the morning. I don't see nothing. While the suspect got away, police are warning you how to weed out the fakes from the real deal. A spokesperson for the department says all officers must carry credentials, which include a police ID and badge. If you ask to see those, a real officer would not deny your request. Glen Burnie resident Ray Mungrove says he goes a step further to ensure his safety. I always ask for a supervisor whenever, whenever I stop, just in case. But I, I mean, I've, I've heard it before. It happens. Let's go. All right, so if you know anything about what happened there, please give Anne Arundel County Police a call. I'm reporting live from Anne Arundel County. I'm Christina Mendez for WJZ.